Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Delia and today we're here to rank the characters from the Blue Box Manga series. Now of course we've only had 38 chapters as of recording this video. However, I thought it'd be fun to give you my thoughts and opinions on these characters that have appeared throughout the series so far and then rank them from like my favourite to least favourite with the categories we have here. S a, B, C, and D. However, one other aspect of this video is of course I'll be ranking them now, but then once the manga series ends, way, way, way in the future, I'll be able to look back at this and see which characters improved and which characters didn't, in my own personal opinion. So I hope you've enjoyed. Of course, while you're at it, let me know your favourite characters in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Without further ado though, let's start off with our main female, Chinatsu. Now of course you know I already love this character a lot. She's one of my favourites, if not my favourite character within the series so far. Her smiles are glorious. Whenever a panel comes and she's smiling, it's just magical. So I have to put her in S tier, because she's best girl at the minute. Next up we've got Taiki's family, and I'm including... Taiki's mom and dad in the same sort of block here because we don't know much about each of them and they've only had a limited amount of screen time each. However, I am going to put them in B tier at this moment in time for Taiki's mom alone because Taiki's mother is absolutely amazing. She's such a kind, caring, wholesome woman that deserves a lot of praise and Taiki's father isn't that bad, you know, himself. Next up, we've got our first category in D tier, and these characters are definitely not going to improve, in my opinion, unless they have a massive character arc, which I can't see happening. I just don't like them. They were really scummy in imposing themselves on Hina and Taiki's spot when they're on their date in chapter 35, but, I mean, yeah, D tier, bottom of the pile, definitely. Next up, we've got Harry. The energetic badminton player that played against Taiki. And I think Harry also had a crush on Chinatsu as well. Remember there was a whole kind of bet where if Harry beat, uh, beat Taiki then Chinatsu would go out with him. But then Taiki would be able to go out with Chinatsu. Basically Chinatsu never agreed to any of that. But we got to see some of Harry's personality, some of his quirks and he was okay. Nothing special but just okay. Next up, we've got Haru, and I'm putting Haru in A tier. Haru is so funny. He's great at teasing Taiki, he's great at giving him support in badminton or in life. Love Dr. Haru is a thing, and you know what? Some of the faces that he pulls are just priceless. So Haru, I want to see you develop more in the future because I feel like you can have your own character arc and just kind of improve uh, sort of emotionally and physically. But at the same time, you're doing brilliant at the minute. Next up we got Hina's friend and I'm really unfortunate I couldn't find her name. However, I'm gonna put her in C. She's not bad. She's pretty wholesome, pretty sweet, but at the same time we just don't really know too much about her. Next up, we've got our second entry into S tier, and it's Hina. Hina and Chinatsu are always going to have that rivalry. Who's going to win Taiki's heart, and who's going to win the majority of the fan base's heart? At the moment, I'm loving Hina's character development. All of the development segments with Hina's character in have been absolutely brilliant, and it made me love Hina's character more and more. Yeah, so for me... I would actually say Hina is my second favourite character within the series, Chanatsu obviously being the first. But Hina, nevertheless, she's an amazing character herself, and she deserves to be in the top three, always. Can't wait to see where they take Hina's character moving forward, because whatever they do, it's going to be something special. Next up we got Hyodo. Now Hyodo is a funny one. Um... I'll put him in B. Shodo for me is a character that seems like a target, seems like a goal for Haru. 
But at the same time, I don't see too much happening with Shordo moving forward. Unless that tease about some, you know, exchange students suddenly showing up at Taiki's school to train him is a tease at Shordo joining Taiki's school and training him. Which I don't think is going to happen because college or training Taiki. College or training Taiki. College wins, right? Next up, we've got Karen. And she is fantastic. I'm putting her in B. I want to see more from Karen. I really like her interaction with that lost child, Chinatsu and Taiki. I thought that was great. And I feel like they can build her character up a bit more because she's Haru's girlfriend, because she's one of Chinatsu's best friends. I feel like she'll be important moving forward. And given enough panel time, I can see my enjoyment for her skyrocketing more and more. We just need to spend a bit more time with her. Next up, we've got a man of mystery, and that is Kyo. Kyo, I'm putting into A tier. Why? Well, because Kyo is a bro. Kyo is a character that just does everything that is correct. Like, he doesn't care if Hina likes Taiki or the Taiki likes Chinatsu. He's going to help Taiki and he's going to help Hina. The only thing I would say about Kyo's character for me that might be a bit of a hindrance is the fact is we know hardly anything about him. We don't know any goals, ambitions, or if he has any love interests himself. I mean, massive curveball. Kyo might actually have some affection towards Taiki. Probably not going to happen, but you never know. Anyways, Kyo, I want to see more from the character as we progress through the series. I feel like he himself as well could have a character arc and it would be pretty um, enlightening and in-depth to a good degree. Next up, we've got the Lost Girl. And she is going into... She's going in a bottom of B. I was going to put her in C, but I thought I'd put her in bottom of B because she's a sweet, innocent child and they're just has a great smile and is just all around fantastic. I mean, if she can get Chanatsu to actually wear a yukata in the next chapter or next chapters moving forward, so 36 and 37, then it's possible I might put her up to A for that good effort she put in. But at the same time, uh, we're not really likely to see her again. If we do, I'll be really amazed and happy because it'll be good character continuity. But you know what? Because she's wholesome and sweet, and she was lost, and now she's found, putting her in B. Next up, we got Nagisa, and I'm going to have to put Nagisa in C. Similarly to Hina's best friend, I just kind of don't really know much about Nagisa, except this time, I actually know the name, and the fact that she's on the basketball team. But apart from that, still a mystery so, we do need to find out more, but I don't think we will, because it seems like the rest of Chanatsu's team aren't that special or relevant to the story. So, why would we learn about them? Next up, we got the main protagonist himself, in Taiki. And, um... I'm putting Taiki at the bottom of A. Taiki has done quite a lot of questionable things and choices within the series but at the same time I'm liking the way that he's being presented I'm liking this kind of evolution we're starting to see with Taiki as we build chapter by chapter by chapter but I am starting to think we need to see more progress from him personally hear me out the way that he's being presented is fine the way that they're slowly evolving his character is okay but sometimes he does feel like he's regressing by sometimes he sees the signs of things and what meanings are behind some of the female characters' phrases. And other time, he's as dense as a brick. Like, there's no middle ground with Taiki when I feel like there should start being something there for him to kind of, you know, showcase. I mean, badminton-wise, he's brilliant. I do like the fact that we see a lot of his 
badminton evolution skills, and that's one reason why I put him in A tier. But from a romance point of view, in a romance comedy manga, then uh, he needs a lot of work on that. So Taiki, you're at the bottom of A, borderline nearly in B, but I think your progression in on court skill just pits you and lets you creep in to the A tier. And next up we got Yusa, which I'm putting in B. At the top of B is Yusa. The reason being is this character has a really cool design. I've not spoken too much about the design of characters because I think they are all really cool and unique in of themselves. But Yusa's character, he reminds me a little bit of Kageyama from Haikyuu. But at the same time, I just like the fact that he is this obstacle for Taiki to overcome now. We know this. We know the fact that Yusa is very skilled himself and he shows that. But at the same time, I know there's going to be more from him. He's going to continue to showcase himself and his skills in the future chapters of the series and he's going to continue being a pain in the behind for Taiki and possibly Haru moving forward. So I'm excited and intrigued to see how they handled Yusa's character as we go forth. So there you have it, Blue Box doesn't have that many characters within the series so far, however each and every character does offer a lot to the series, whether that's comedy, whether that's progress in development, romance, sports, you name it, these characters are great at doing so. So I quite like the fact the series has kept the characters to a minimum, but used them all effectively, and they've all reoccurred, minus the guys at the bottom, um, you know, in a decent way. So for that, there you have the list. Going for in, going down in order, we have at the top, Chinatsu. In second, we have Hina. In third, Haru. In fourth, Kyo. In fifth, is Taiki. In sixth, is Yusa. In seventh, Karen. In eighth, we have Taiki's mum and dad. Shodo's in number nine, the lost child from chapter 35 and 34 is in Number 10, we've got 11th is Harry, in 12th is Hina's friend, and in 13th is Nagisa, in 14th and always staying at a bottom position are the guys that, you know, from chapter 35. So there you have it, without rambling on too much, because I am, those were my choices. Let me know who your favourite character is in the comment section down below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe for more things Blue Box related. Have a great day. Alligator, Matt Dunnett. Goodbye.